Did you know that some of history's greatest minds found their brilliance in solitude? From Newton's groundbreaking theories to Rowling's magical world, solitude has been the birthplace of extraordinary ideas. Today, we're uncovering the hidden power of being alone, a journey that might just reveal the untapped potential within you. Get ready to discover how solitude can transform your life in ways you never imagined. In our busy lives, we often view solitude as a luxury, like that extra scoop of ice cream you know you shouldn't have, but it's just too good to pass up. But here's the twist. Being alone isn't just a treat. It's a necessity for our inner well-being. It's like taking a deep breath in a room that's been stuffy for too long. Suddenly, you realize what you've been missing. When you're alone, the world's constant buzzing quiets down and you can actually hear your own thoughts. It's like finally getting a chance to chat with an old friend, yourself. You start to notice things you never did before, like how much you enjoy the simple rhythm of your own heartbeat or the quirky way your thoughts wander. Solitude is where you get to be the director, actor and audience of your own life's play. No scripts, no expectations, just you being authentically you. It's in these moments you might find yourself doing a silly dance in your living room or laughing at your own jokes. And why not? It's your private show. This is where you recharge, away from the world's demands. It's not about being a hermit. It's about giving yourself that space to breathe, reflect, and just be. In these quiet moments, you're not just passing time. You're rediscovering the joys of your own company. Solitude serves as a mirror, reflecting our deepest fears, desires, and dreams. It's a time for introspection, where we analyze our past, contemplate our future, and realign with our present. This self-reflection is crucial for personal growth and self-awareness. Alone, we have the opportunity to question our beliefs, challenge our limits, and redefine our goals. In these moments of seclusion, we often find clarity and inspiration, leading to profound realizations about our life's purpose and direction. Now, let's not kid ourselves. Being alone can start off feeling a bit like sitting in a quiet room, wondering if the fridge always hummed that loudly. But as you settle into the stillness, something magical happens. Your mind starts to wander, not just to what's for dinner or why cats are afraid of cucumbers, but to the bigger questions. What makes you happy? Are you chasing your dreams or just running on a treadmill? You might even start talking to yourself. And no, that doesn't mean you're losing it. It means you're getting to know yourself without the world butting in. Think of it like a casual coffee date with your thoughts, where you're both a little awkward at first, but soon, you're finishing each other's sentences. In these moments of self-conversation, you'll start noticing things. Maybe you realize that job you're chasing doesn't really light your fire, or that you've always wanted to learn salsa dancing. It's these small epiphanies, stacked one on top of another, that lead to big changes. And all it took was giving yourself some quality time. So while solitude might start off feeling like you're the main character in a silent film, it soon turns into a full-blown adventure where you're the hero, the guide and the explorer, all in one. Learning to enjoy your own company is a bit like making a new friend, except this friend has been with you all along and knows all your embarrassing secrets. At first, it might feel a bit awkward, like an impromptu solo dance party in your living room. But as you get used to the rhythm of your own company, you start to appreciate the freedom it brings. Imagine having a day all to yourself. You can sing off key in the shower, have cereal for dinner, or laugh at your own jokes without anyone judging you. It's in these simple joys that we often find contentment. Being alone allows you to set your own pace, follow your curiosity, and explore interests that you might have set aside. But it's not all about indulging in hobbies or quirky habits. It's also about facing the quiet moments. You know those times when you're left alone with your thoughts and there's no one to interrupt. These moments can be enlightening, albeit a bit uncomfortable. They're like sitting through a movie of your life where you're the director, the actor, and the audience. You get to question old beliefs, mull over decisions, and perhaps even have a light bulb moment or two. Learning to be with yourself is like slowly peeling an onion, layer by layer. You might shed a few tears along the way, but what you uncover is worth it. It's about finding comfort in your own skin, embracing your quirks, and giving yourself a pat on the back now and then. And when you finally get there, You'll realize that being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. It simply means you're in good company, your own. When we step back from the hustle 
and dive into solitude, it's like hitting the refresh button on our social skills. Think of it as a mini vacation for your social life. In solitude, we get a chance to sort out our thoughts and feelings, kind of like organizing a messy closet. This tidying up of emotions makes us more in tune with ourselves and, strangely enough, better at understanding others. You know how sometimes you can't find your keys because there's too much clutter? It's the same with our emotions. When we're always in the mix of socializing, we might miss out on understanding what we or others really feel. Taking a step back gives us the chance to see things more clearly. It's like looking at a painting from a distance. The whole picture becomes clearer. After spending quality time alone, returning to the social world is like coming back from a retreat. We're more relaxed, less reactive, and, let's face it, probably more pleasant to be around. We listen better because we've listened to ourselves. We empathize more because we've faced our own ups and downs. It's a bit like being a social ninja, moving through conversations with grace and understanding, all thanks to those quiet moments we spent alone. The true magic of being alone. It's like quietly upgrading yourself while the world isn't looking. In those still moments, away from the buzz of daily life, we're free to dream big and plan bigger. This isn't about morphing into a new person overnight. It's more like a slow, rewarding process of becoming the best version of ourselves. Alone time is our personal lab where we experiment with ideas, hobbies, and even those quirky habits we wouldn't dare show in public. It's where we can sing terribly off-key or dance like nobody's watching because, well, nobody is. But beyond these light-hearted moments, Solitude is where our deeper growth takes root. It's the quiet curator of our personal evolution. In this space, we can reflect on our choices, learn from our mishaps, those oops moments we all have, and gently nudge ourselves towards positive change. It's like having a one-on-one -on -one meeting with ourselves, where we're both the boss and the intern, figuring things out as we go. As we navigate through our thoughts and emotions alone, we start to notice patterns. Maybe we're always the peacemaker in conflicts, or perhaps we've been putting off that dream project for far too long. Recognizing these patterns is the first step to changing them. This solo journey might not always be smooth. There will be bumps and hiccups along the way, but each challenge is a stepping stone towards greater understanding and personal fulfillment. And when we emerge from our cocoon of solitude, we're not just recharged, we're reshaped, ready to interact with the world in a more meaningful, confident way. So while being alone might seem like we're just passing time, it's actually a subtle yet powerful form of self-improvement. It's about growing at our own pace, in our own space, and blossoming in ways we never imagined. We've journeyed through the landscape of solitude together, uncovering its hidden strengths. If this resonated with you, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Your experiences are valuable. Drop a comment below to share how solitude has shaped your life. Until next time, cherish your moments of solitude and keep exploring your inner world.